नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल लेट्स टॉक पॉलिटिक्स टुडे एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट थ्री स्टेट्स थ्री स्टेट्स दैट मे मेक अ डिफरेंस इन 2024 इलेक्शंस लेट्स गेट राइट इनटू द शो सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट थ्री स्टेट्स लाइक आई सेड बिफोर दैट मे मेक अ डिफरेंस इन 2024 इलेक्शंस the three states that i mentioned are karnataka going for election this year maharashtra not not technically supposed to go for election this year it, the election is supposed to be in 2024 but one never knows under the circumstances and third is rajasthan which is going for election this year now if you look at karnataka maharashtra and rajasthan all of these uh, states put together constitutes of 101 seats in lok sabha 101 out of 545 seats in lok sabha roughly translating to 19% of seats in lok sabha so that is how these three states are poised now let's start with karnataka and then we will come to our logic and our conclusion theek hai na so in karnataka the total number of lok sabha seats are 28 In 2019, out of this 28 seats, Bharatiya Janata Party and its ally won 25 and one. Ally is one one, and Bharat, that is an independent candidate won one, and Bharatiya Janata Party won 25. Congress won and JDS won. This is how the 28 seats, Lok Sabha seats, was bifurcated. That's Karnataka. Now, what is the difference between Karnataka of 2019 and Karnataka of 2000? 24 you may ask the difference between karnataka of 2019 was that karnataka of 2019 was a far more consolidated far more robust and far more stronger bharatiya janata party on ground the karnataka of 2024 doesn't look that way because senior leaders like lakshman sawadi who was the deputy chief minister of karnataka has left them almost 10 sitting mlas have not got tickets so there is tremendous amount of disgruntled element right now as we speak in bharatiya janata party camp workers are confused workers are demotivated disillusioned so somewhere down the line the mood of bharatiya janata party is very similar if i may, if i may if i may kind of draw a parallel it is very similar to the mood of uh, of uh, congress in punjab congress when the punjab election was going on i remember congress workers were in the same disillusionment what possibly bharatiya janata party people are currently in 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 uh, in uh, karnataka so that's the difference the point is will bharatiya janata party be able to get that same 25 plus 1 26 seats out of the 28 seats this time with this kind of a team with this kind of a, a, a the wor- workers on ground this kind of demotivated workers on ground is a question that really uh, is is going to be playing a very vital uh, role in bharatiya janata party uh, strategies when it comes to karnataka and when it comes to south it is going to play a very vital role because chances are by the looks of it currently bharatiya janata party may not get that same kind of vigor same kind of effort same kind of popularity same kind of wave that they got in 2024 currently unless and until there is something that modi and amit shah does after the assembly election because assembly election by the again like by the looks of it and also by a lot of polls and people who have done research and people who are doing research and and, and there are a lot of people still feel that uh, this time around uh, it looks very very Uh, very very pro uh, congress and uh, jds it looks that uh, congress and jds may may take the take the take the state but that's the uh, polls now unless and until something seriously happens something seriously is done neither is bharatiya janata party going to come back in uh, uh, karnataka nor will bharatiya janata party get the kind of seats it got in 2019 this is as far as karnataka is concerned now let us go to maharashtra maharashtra two things happened one is the bharatiya janata party along with 
एकनाथ शिंदे हु वॉज ऑलमोस्ट नंबर टू इन शिवसेना उद्धव सेना द द युनाइटेड शिवसेना इफ आय मे कॉल इट फॉर दिस डिस्कशन द युनाइटेड शिवसेना विच वॉज हेडेड बाय उद्धव उद्धव ठाकरे द ही एंड अलॉंग विथ भारतीय जनता पार्टी पुल डाऊन द महाविकास आघाडी गव्हर्नमेंट पोस्ट विच उद्धव ठाकरे बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्शन कमिशन जजमेंट लॉस्ट शिवसेना टू एकनाथ शिंदे of course supreme court is still to give its verdict so he lost his uddhav sena to uh, uh, eknath shinde what really happened after that is while a lot of political uh, politicians i mean you know uh, shivsenik shivsenik sitting mlas mps and corporators and all jumped to eknath shinde camp they all jumped to eknath shinde a lot of people jumped to eknath shinde camp but the people remained with uddhav thakre the voters somehow are still with uddhav thakre is what a lot of political analysis say the sympathy wave for uddhav thakre because he lost his party he lo- which was built by his father he lost uh, he, he lost his symbol all of this actually helped uddhav thakre and actually made a not so not so powerful a not so powerful leader that is uddhav thakre a not so powerful leader a very very prominent and possibly the opposition face of maharashtra that's what this particular incident did for uddhav thakre shiv sena became a formidable force because shiv sena always needed somebody to to needed somebody support It, they either needed uh, bharatiya janata party support uh, always for the last 25 26 years and after that this time around they needed mahavikas agadi congress and ncp support so they all had needed a crutch to stand in maharashtra but by the looks of it shiv sena now is turning into a very formidable party formidable force in maharashtra and thanks to that government being, being pulled down thanks to the fact that ekna shinde taking away the symbol and the party and the name and all of that thanks to that now this is very different this has changed a lot of things in maharashtra this has changed a lot of things in maharashtra lot of experts say that listen you know what if there is an election today there is a chance that mahavikas agadi may come back to power lot of experts say that but then bharatiya janata party is not going to keep quiet are they so they are also doing their own own kind of uh, uh, whatever uh, politicking that's happening in the state uh, uh, ajit pawar who is the number 2 in in ncp uh, 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 sharad pawar's nephew he again has shown inclination of joining bharatiya janata party or at least joining to theek hai it's too early uh, for one to say but he has shown inclination he has been giving statements for bharatiya janata party uh, uh, benefiting bharatiya janata party and there is a there is a there is a rumor that he may possibly align with bharatiya janata party so that's the people like tatkare people like praful patel who are hardcore loyalist of uh, ncp these people are are looking at bharatiya janata party why even sharad pawar one is not very clear as to which direction is sharad pawar taking ncp to so that too is unclear so that's happening at one end but at another end sharad pawar joining bjp will be slightly difficult will be even dangerous because mind you sharad pawar's interest today is supriya sule his daughter let's be very clear about it now supriya sule who has been a very prominent he has been a star parliamentarian all this while has been talking about uh, bjp has been taking bjp on all these years all of a sudden she now going and aligning with bjp will that do good for her career i am sure sharad pawar will think about this before he joins bjp and if sharad pawar doesn't join bjp na whether it is ajit pawar praful patel or whatever joining bjp or aligning with bjp will not but i'm saying joining bjp i mean aligning with bjp i don't think the concept is joining bjp but aligning with bjp will not really matter why because end of the day like i always say i continue to say and i'm saying it now that sharad pawar equals to ncp ncp equals to sharad pawar whoever says whatever till such time that sharad pawar wants nothing moves in ncp P period, no MLA, no political, no worker is ever going to align with anybody else till such time that Sharad Pawar wants. He still has that clout. 
and NCP is leaderless without Sharad Pawar. There is no clear number two and there is no, there is no popular leader or there is nobody who can, who can drag all the MLAs and all. As on now, it doesn't look that way. It is, and to my mind, it is not possible either. So finally, if there is a move, if there is a split, like I said last time, like I said last time when Ajit Pawar went and joined uh, uh, hands with uh, Devendra Fadnavis to, to form the government, Devendra Fadnavis uh, uh, got sworn in as the chief minister, Ajit Pawar got sworn in as the deputy chief minister, we said it then and I say it now. That if it has, has to happen, if it has happened, then it is with the blessings of Sharad Pawar. Sharad Pawar has agreed to it. Therefore, that split happened. Otherwise, Ajit Pawar on his own cannot do this, cannot make this happen. I say the same thing now. Coming back to Maharashtra. Maharashtra has 48 seats. It is the second largest after Uttar Pradesh. 48 Lok Sabha seats. Out of which last year, that is 2019, my apologies, last time, Bharatiya Janata Party got 23 out of the out of the 48 seats. Shiva Sena, who was part of Bharatiya Janata Party then, who is technically part of Bharatiya Janata Party now also, but the Shiva Sena is different now. Shiva Sena got 18 seats. NCP got four Indian National Congress, one AIM, one and one independent. This is how the 48 seats were distributed. Now the problem. The problem is Shiva Sena, like I told you, is split. Shinde camp, how much of these 18 seats will go to Shinde camp or how much Shinde camp would get as a unit is a question mark. As of now, Uddhav Thakre is rising. The sympathy way for Uddhav Thakre is rising and there is no question about it. Shiva Sena is becoming a very formidable, Uddhav Thakre Shiva Sena is becoming a very formidable force. So this is going to be a big difference. Mind you, all it is going to minus from the, the comfortable position that, uh, that Bharati Janata Party was sitting in. So these are the seeds that they may have to be very careful about. One doesn't know how much, how NCP, the numbers that NCP will end up getting uh, end of uh, 2024 and INC will get, end up getting after 2024 because obviously they have all hit the rock bottom. The only place they will go now is upwards. So Maharashtra is going to be a place where one needs to wait and watch because this is going to get very interesting. So this is as far as Maharashtra is concerned. Now let us get to our last and that is Rajasthan. Rajasthan last time around 24, uh, 25 Lok Sabha seats out of which 24 went to Bharatiya Janata Party, 1 to RLP, Congress 0. This was 2019 story. Now mind you, currently things are very equally poised. Equally poised because while Congress is uh, into anti-incumbency in, uh, uh, anti there and uh, there is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of tremendous amount of infighting. What is happening in Karnataka with uh, Bharatiya Janata Party is happening in uh, Rajasthan with Congress. Something similar. Sachin Pilot wants to be the leader of Rajasthan, but Sachin Pilot is not willing to internalize the fact that he is not as popular in Rajasthan as Ashok Gelot. Sachin Pilot is not willing to internalize the fact that MLAs, more MLAs are with Ashok Gelot than with him. He is not willing to internalize that. He is behaving like a kid who wants the toy at any cost. Because end of the day, the way democracy works, the way parliament works is when a person has MLA supporting him. If the MLAs are not supporting him, then what does one do? And if the MLAs were supporting him, then the MLAs would have walked out with him when he tried it in 2008, I think 2020, when he, yeah, 2020, July of 2020, when he tried to walk away and, you know, join BJP and then it failed and, you know, all of that. Are be there, the MLAs would have walked with him. But he is not willing to understand that. He wants to be the CM. Now, that's where Sachin Pilot is. This time around, I don't think BJP is very interested in Sachin Pilot. That too is a fact. Now let us look at Ashok Gelot. Ashok Gelot is a man who loves power. He was asked to be the president of Congress. He said, nothing doing, Minister, Chief Minister Banne guy. I will not be president because I have to resign Chief Minister. No, Because Congress thought we can have the cake and eat it too. Take Ashok Gelot, make him the president of Congress and then uh, make Sachin Pilot uh, the the chief minister of uh, Rajasthan. So, both happy. This was Congress's idea. But I said, who is Gaylord said, no, it So, Gaylord, somewhere down the line, is very, very adamant about the chair that he's sitting in. Everything else for him is secondary. The chair is primary. 
So that's where he stands. Now the thing, why I said this state is going to be important. If Congress, and now another important factor is uh, Kamal Nath has come in and Kamal Nath is trying to now kind of uh, bring about a, 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 a unification between uh, Sachin Pilot and Mr. Gaylord. Now, it's very ironical. Kamal Nath couldn't save his own state. That is Madhya Pradesh, which Mr. Sindhya took him, took away, took it away from him. So, he couldn't save his own state. Now, he's here to save Rajasthan. But, okay, let's go. Now, if this works and they come together and by some stroke of luck, if everything unites, if they come together, if Congress unites and they fight strong this time, chances are that 24 seats that Bharatiya Janata Party got in Lok Sabha in 2019, that may not remain as is. That may have some dents. May not be significant. I'm not saying from 24 they will come to 4. I say kuch hoga. But it will definitely have a dent in that 24 seats, that solid solidity that they had in 2019. It is bound to cause some dent to that solidity. And that's why Rajasthan becomes so important. Now what happens is, if 20% or 19% in this case, 19%, 101 seats out of 145 seats. If you find that there is there is loss, most of the most of the places, the loss seems to be going to Bharatiya Janata Party. Most of these places, if that happens, then it is definitely going to cause a concern for Bharatiya Janata Party's magic number. They are hoping to get 400, but I am talking about even getting 303 what they got in 2019. That magic number may have a problem. Now the thing is, that doesn't mean that therefore you don't achieve 303, Bharatiya Janata Party doesn't get to come back to power in 2024. They still at the moment looks comfortable and they, at the moment they look as if you know things are going to be going their way. But concerns are emerging and these are real concerns. That's the point I wanted to get to your notice and uh, till I see you next time, that's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar.